Well, we're getting back to our remarkable women's series this morning. The pandemic sidelined hundreds of thousands of Nevadans from their jobs and their incomes, creating a tsunami of unpaid rents and mortgages and fear for homeowners. But thanks to our next remarkable woman, Kristen Schuler Heinz, with her tireless heart for helping others, hundreds of those people were spared being evicted. I don't want to see anybody lose their home. This happens to people who've never missed a mortgage payment. People who've bought a house with the intention of living in it until the day they die or leaving it to their children. Kristen Schuler Heinz knew she had to do something to help residents hang on to their homes while also helping her company survive. One of the things that we always try to focus on is what can we do to help people understand what their rights are, what their obligations are, what kind of help is out there. Kristen is an attorney with McCarthy and Holthus, a law firm that represents banks and mortgage lenders, clients who loan people money to buy a home and can legally take back that property if you stop making payments. We don't blame you for not being able to pay your mortgage. We don't think you're a bad person. We understand this happens. What can we do to help you help yourself? And when COVID began taking its financial toll on the community, Kristen pivoted to help her clients' customers navigate the arduous paperwork journey to avoid eviction, many without a computer or internet service. And if you're trying to register for eviction assistance through um, your phone and trying to find the documents to upload and get hold of people, you know, they, they can't do it. Remarkably, Kristen has helped more than 500 homeowners stay securely put during a very uncertain time. But her heart for helping goes far beyond her job. She also helped friends and others, especially seniors, get those coveted first COVID vaccines when appointments seemed impossible. If you weren't sitting at the computer all day long checking for appointments and trying to get in, you couldn't get one. Um, so I, I was in front of my computer all day long anyway, so why not have one screen directed to getting people vaccine appointments and the other screen directed to doing my work? And that's just what she did, even driving some to get their shots, like 73-year-old Ellen McAbee and waiting in line with her for hours. Kristen and her husband also give their time to many different nonprofits, from holiday toy and food drives to Alzheimer's and the AIDS Foundation. As an entertainer back in the 1980s, Kristen saw many performers, some friends, lose their fight with AIDS. I hope before I die that we say AIDS is cured. That would be the best thing ever to take with me is that whatever little bit I've done has stopped people from dying from AIDS. And her family is made up of adopted special needs four-legged kids from local pet rescues. We adopted a dog from the Humane Society because it said on it foreclosure and it's like I don't care what dog we're here for we're taking that one too. Kristen also mentors young Nevada attorneys and says she hopes that by setting an example for them and for all young people that helping others just a little every day can have a big impact over time. I get up and I do my job and I try to do it in the nicest way possible so that people's lives are made maybe a little bit better and I think that's that's all you can that's all you can do is try to make people's lives just a little bit better every day. A heart for giving and a never ending spirit for helping others. That's why Kristen Schuler Heinz is an 8 News Now remarkable woman. Well, congratulations to Kristen, um, and I think she's very deserving. You wonder how people find so much time when they're so busy themselves, uh -huh. yeah. but yet people who have such a heart, they make time. And yeah. to save her client, I mean, she works for mortgage lenders and banks, yeah. but yet she went to the homeowners and said, let me help you get through this. Wow. We're going we're gonna to help you stay in your house right. right now because the pandemic was taking its toll on all of us. Mm. And she, doesn't, she didn't want anybody to be evicted from their home. No. So wow. did some uh, miraculous things in the last I mean, couple of years. Paperwork to buy a house and do your house stuff is hard enough as it is, mm -hmm. let alone with the pandemic and the issue of foreclosures and the, you know, the benefit money that was coming in, trying to navigate that entire rigmarole. Uh, props to her. What a, what a, yeah. She does great work in the community. Love that. And so many people didn't have internet. Yeah. They were trying to do this stuff on their phone. Mm. She said, no, let me help you. Wow. Mm. She's incredible. Congratulations. She's remarkable. Yes, <laughs> remarkable.